Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome back to the Monk Cave. Today we are in the search for dogs. Remember last episode we got the cats, I lost one of them, and now I have to go back and uh, get the dogs today. And boy, do I have some crazy stories for you. Uh, it's why I didn't post a Minecraft video last week, and also what I did over this weekend. So first, let me grab a horse. Go on up our horsey elevator here, and then move on to find those dogs. So, uh, last week, I didn't post a Minecraft video for a very good reason. So, uh, last week it was really stormy, it was really windy, like 40 mile per hour winds. Which is unusual for where I live. So, I was saying to Sir MKLB, Matt, that, uh... You know, a tree's gonna blow over. It's gonna fall over. Happens every single time. It, we have a lot of dead trees on our yard, and they tend to fall over in strong winds like that. So the next morning, I wake up and I start letting my dogs outside. And what do I see? I see not a small dead tree falling over, but I see a 25 foot pine tree had fallen over. And that's not even the surprising part. The surprising part is where it landed, because it didn't hit the house. It didn't hit the empty lot next to us. It landed right on top of my car, which I'm going to show you the pictures of right now. Yes, that that is my car right there. Okay. Now, luckily, it didn't get smushed to death like you would uh, imagine in the movies. Like, it, it would happen, but it did get lots and lots of dents around it and scratches. And right now, it's in the shop. And uh, they said two weeks to repair it and everything. It's a huge, huge mess. <laughs> Car's doing okay though. Still drivable, but uh, just has all those scratches on it. So that was my fun last week. That's why I did not post a video uh, last Monday. Now this weekend, we can talk about this weekend. This weekend, I went to what is called shooter school. And that is a uh, fireworks school that I go to every single year. Because I am part of a crew that does your 4th of July fireworks. And it's just like a, a safety class that we take, you know, to remind us to not stick our heads over the uh, the uh, uh, mortars and everything like that. And we're not dealing with, like, little baby fireworks like Roman candles and sparklers. We were dealing with the high-grade, you know, 4th of July fireworks that you typically go to uh, type and man, it is a ton of fun. I, I give you some idea of what I do uh, in my spare time. And we do a 4th of July show every year. <gasps> donkeys! No way! I so needed a donkey. And I don't have a lead. I don't have a saddle or anything. Ugh. I'm sorry, horsey. I am going to have to let you free. I got to let you go roam in the wild. I really need a donkey. I really, really need a donkey, okay? I'm sorry. Good luck. You got all your buddies over here and there's a ton over there, okay? I'll see you later. I got to get this donkey. I don't have a donkey. I need one. Let's ride you home. Oh my gosh, this thing is slow. We are heading on home. Do you hear that? No way! Come here. Come here. Don't run away. Come here. Come here. <gasps> Did I get you as a- I <gasps> got a dog! I got a dog! got a dog! Look at this lock! Look at this lock! Dogs and donkeys right next to each other. We are going home. We are going home. Come on, donkey. Come on, doggies. Let's roam the earth. Bye, horsey. Bye, horsey. I'm sorry I gotta leave you behind, but uh, I think you'll be much happier out here in the wild than in a cage. Those horsies are so pretty looking, huh? Look at this. Dogs. Look at how many horses are out here. Oh my god. That guy is gonna have no problems. Look at the number of horses. This is nuts. I was giving up. I was going back home and I happened to find that donkey. And I'm like, you know what? I need, I need a donkey. We left the horse behind. And then I heard that wolf bark and I'm like, yeah, 
Bruce! <laughs> best, best luck ever today. I, it was, I thought I was running out. I thought I had terrible luck in the beginning. But uh, I'm, I have, I'm having good luck. I'm gonna head back home. I'm about a thousand blocks out. So I have a long way to walk. Hopefully one of these doggies does not disappear or die on me. Or else I'm gonna be pretty upset. We've been playing for about, oh, 32 minutes now. I'm just under that 32 minute mark. We got our dogs. We got our creepers. We got our skeletons and zombies. And we got a donkey. I had to leave the other horse behind. I feel kind of bad. But you know what? He's in the wild. <gasps> no! You have got to be joking me. You have got to be Do I have any lights? Any torches? Okay, luckily the donkey did not die. Oh my god, that was a close one. That was too close. Now, how do I get out of here? Uh, I have these blocks. Let's just use them. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I've never done this with a horse or a donkey before. This is difficult. Almost there. That that is probably the scariest moment I have ever had in Minecraft. I I have to tell you for real. That was scary. That was really really scary. My heart like came out of my chest. That is how scary that was. Oh, we are back home. Don't need this anymore. I know we are back home because of this little wheat farm here that I made. Wheat hill is like was what I like to call it. Whew, this has been a, uh, it's been a long journey, I have to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the donkey inside. We are going to chill for a minute. You know what we can do right now, though? We can dye their collars and name the dogs. How about that? Um, I could name the dogs after my real life dogs. Like, that would be kind of fun. Donkey is put away. Let's see. No, don't, don't activate the, uh, the thing there. Let's see, I have a boy dog and I have a girl dog, and I think that's what we should stick with. Let's name these dogs, let's give them their collar colors, and we'll have them hang out right next to the cats. Right next to the Siamese twins, okay? Siamese twins, get it? Because they're Siamese cats? <laughs> okay, let me get my uh, blue. Let me get my pink. Have you guys sit down. Oh, I meant for you to sit down. But okay, I guess this is going to be Grace. And this is going to be sharp. You hear that thunder out there? Dogs do not like thunder, especially sharp right here. He really doesn't like thunder. Now, I don't have any name tags, unfortunately, so I can't name any of these guys. I would love to one of these days. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back outside once it gets dark, and then we can do our fireworks show. All right. Meet you there in a minute. Oh, look how cute they are. Look how adorable they are. Can we get a closer look? There's Gracie and there's Sharpie. Look at that. They care now. Don't care. Care. Don't care. Care. Let's see if we can get like... <laughs> they're listening to, uh, to rock music and they're, uh, they're headbanging. Okay. <laughs> That is too good. Let's do it again. I hope it's not still raining. Oh, we are going to have a wet firework show. Now, luckily in Minecraft, water doesn't affect, <laughs> doesn't affect fireworks. So we are going to head on over here. I am going to start the lever and we are going to watch our very own fireworks show. There it goes. Fireworks. Woo, fireworks! As more mobs are spawning, we're gonna have a fireworks show. Fireworks! Look at that, so pretty. I can I can tell they're almost uh they're almost here. Fireworks! Fireworks! Can we get some more fireworks? That is the extent of our fireworks show. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please subscribe for more and also like. In the next episode, we are going to be 
creating that dog and cat sanctuary. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode and I'll see you next time.